Alright, um, hi and welcome to my second installment of my Beginner's Guide series. Um, I just tried to make two videos of uh, my second installment, but they were 45 minutes and 35 minutes respectively, so I'm going to really power through this. Just bear with me because there's a lot to go through. I want to try and keep it under 20 minutes, um, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, when you start, I'm going to go to the starting area to show you a few things, but I'm going to get a few things out of the way. Um, here you'll notice the shields. Uh, my shield is blue. When you start, it will be yellow. There are four different levels. Yellow, blue, gray, red. And when you turn gray, that means you created a criminal act. Uh, that can be done by uh, hitting another player who is blue. Uh, or looting a player who is blue. Let's see, no, that's a rabbit, not a corpse. But uh, when you mouse over a corpse, you'll see it has a blue title. And if you loot that, you'll turn gray. And if you're in town, you'll get attacked by guards. Um, you'll notice blocking mechanisms for skills and when you start uh, leveling skills when you start playing you'll unlock all kinds of skills that you, you're not going to want to level. Um, there are specific builds that... Uh, alright first things first blue flowers. Note these blue flowers that'll, that'll ride by as I'm talking because they're the best source of gold for new players. Uh, the skills, you'll, you'll unlock all kinds of skills that will level on their own. And there's one more flower over there. Um, take note of those right there. Common Mertis, you'll feed your mounts. Um, another blue flower right there. Alright. You talk to the guy up there, that's where you start. There's more blue flowers. There's a blue flower there, a blue flower. There's three blue flowers, and then there's one right behind you when you spawn. Uh, you can do that circuit. You can pick all those flowers and make a lot of gold as a starter. Um, I'll show you a place later where in 45 minutes I grabbed 3,000 uh, 3, stacks, and that's worth 18, uh, 15 gold. So just be wary of that. Um, Okay, uh, you do the starter quest, you'll come down here, talk to that guy, skin a pig, um, hit the L button, after you talk to that guy, he'll give you the butchery skill, you drag the butchery skill, and then you can drag the carcass to the, to the butchery window, skin it, get the leather, you go make some armor, come back, talk to the guy, tame a rabbit, and that will give you creature control, which is important for riding horses. At level 25 or 30, I forget which one, um, you can ride level 100 horses. So it's really uh, it's something that you want to do. I'm going all the way up to, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do uh, 25 or 30. That's in this this build that I'm doing. It is my own build. I've made it myself. I'm going to be daggers. Um, but I'm not going to get into my skills right now, maybe a new video. Uh, you just be, want to be wary of these uh, stuff like... Um, talk to this guy right here, and he'll give you the mining and uh, wood chopping skill. And they're right up here, you can drag them. You equip an axe, or you can you can chop wood with a sword or something, I don't know. But I, I do it with an axe. Chop wood with an axe, I mine with a pickaxe. I'm just like that, but... Uh, like once you start mining, it'll unlock petrology, and it's a primary skill. And if you're not a miner, um, you want to. Uh, I leveled it to 25 just so uh, because mining is a really great way to increase your attributes. It'll increase intelligence, dexterity, strength, and constitution. I don't know if it increases psyche or not. I don't. I don't know that. I, I personally, don't, I've never seen it, but it might. Uh, no, it, it, it probably definitely doesn't because I don't think I had this locked while I was doing it and it's still at 25, which is the start. Um, but once you start doing stuff, you'll notice stuff gets unlocked. Like uh, when you do your armor crafting, textile lore will unlock. When you do your mining, your petrology will lock. Well, if you're not going to uh, be a crafter, then you want to drop the skill and lock it. Um, as a miner, you want to let it go up. Uh, as I mean, as a starting player, mining, you want to let it go up. Because um, if you want to level your skills, your attributes really quickly, just grab a pick, start mining for an hour or so, and they'll go up dramatically. This is almost all from mining, but I think I mine for like two hours. Um, so once you're done mining, lock the skill, drop it down to zero, 
trained skill, uh, obviously all your attributes contribute to it, so it has an effective skill, but that's how many points you actually do, uh, that's how many points you actually gain by utilizing the skill. Okay, I'm not going to get into too much of that, um, but get that, um, Uh, you don't have you can pick flowers if you want and then sell them to this utility vendor here and get pickaxes if you want to do that before completing the quest but I completed the quest line and came back and leveled my attributes because I wanted to grab a book that I'm reading I'm reading daggers right now and here's where you see now you can click on it and you can stop reading that's how you stop reading and uh, utility vendor sells the pickaxes and the uh, that uh, access um, once you go mining over there you can bring the mine you'll get stuff like uh, little gems that are worthless there's only like um, the you can sell gems for this book or something that's like one thing that people know of. the gems probably do have use but for now you just want to sell them so you can buy more pickaxes and stuff what do you want get away from my horse you like my horse this horse by the way is the highest um, it's the best breed in the game. It's not the best horse, obviously, because I'm really low level and I wouldn't be able to ride it, but it's only level 25. But you can take the resources from... Ah. Uh, you can take the resources, uh, the rocks from there, crush them, and you'll start gaining lures. You just need to be aware of that because you want to drop them later if you're not doing mining. Crush them, get the materials, and you can sell the materials also for a little extra cash if you want. I didn't sell any of it. Uh, okay, that's about it for this area. Um, you can also lock your attributes. You do that by actually cl clicking on the word itself, not the thing. Uh, the reason why you'd want to lock attributes is because obviously you have an attribute pool and I'd, if I put any more of those in there I wouldn't be able to level my three main skills. So just have an idea of where you want to go. Um, once you learn the game it's not it's not a big deal to re-roll if you're only going to miss the armor station right there that you craft. Your beginner armor at Uh, right here, this guy on the left, uh, that guy right back there. Come on, back up. That guy right there, after you complete your quest, you talk to him, and he'll put you on your starter path, which isn't a big deal. You can pick anything you want. I personally, as a new player, might recommend taming, because that way you can go out and get your own donkeys, which is very easy to do, and people mostly don't mess with you. You can go get your own donkey, so you don't have to spend two or three gold or five gold. Uh, but this guy right here, he's a head vendor. Uh, you'll be killing skeletons in a graveyard. You can bring the heads back and buy your first weapons upgrade. You can buy sword, spear, axe, mace. Uh, do, he doesn't sell bows though. Uh, but there's some pretty good bows on the uh, broker for really cheap. So if you're a bow character, just check out the broker. Uh, there's some decent bows in there for really cheap, like 50 silver or sometimes even less. Uh, but there's books there that you can read that get you started on the basic stuff like combat maneuvering, uh, endurance, and other basic skills. But uh, you don't have to get your books from there. The library is right there. So uh, here's the market. Just check out these gear vendor. Uh, check out these vendors. That utility vendor right there sells torches. You're probably gonna need those if you're gonna want to uh, explore the crypts and the graveyard and the sewers that I'm gonna show you. Um, there's another gathering tutor right there if you miss the one that we were just at there's a cooking tutor um, don't worry about cooking unless you're gonna be a cook if you're gonna be a cook you're gonna want to use a cooking pot in that furnace right there but I'm not gonna get into that because I'm gonna show you where to get grapes which is way better than anything you can cook at this level um, um, and that guy right there sells um, portable campfires portable campfires you uh, sleep at to regain uh, you can notice that gray bar right there if I were to run around without eating my that gray bar would go all would take up all of this that, and um, it reduces your maximum of whatever stat that is it happens with health mana everything um, 
that second bar up there is my health reserves as the reserves I have no stamina reserve but I'll get into another video with that um, and the campfires you sleep at but you cannot sleep at them if you have more than 1080 hunger if you're 1080 hunger or above you can't sleep at them so you need to eat something to get your hunger down before you can sleep and sleep sleeping gets rid of those gray bars I'll get into health reserves in another video I just don't have time to do it right now um, yeah so your first weapons upgrade will be from that guy there but if you pick enough flowers you can buy some way better weapons on the broker here's your librarian you buy your books from that guy right there buy your books from that guy and there's some other books here from that guy those two you don't have to worry about uh, that has some few various skills but that's the main guy you'll be getting your books from that guy right there, the Tindrum Vidari, Veridir, whatever. Uh, that's your mailbox, basically. Uh, mailboxes are exclusive to the town, so if you mail something to a character from that guy, you can't go to another town and have them pick it up. It has to be picked up here. Um, there's a message board right there. Uh, it has some stuff like guild recruitment. Sometimes people put up bounties for, for players put a bounties for players heads uh, there's the bank right there. there's 50 slots in the bank and every bank is exclusive so you go to another town it's a completely empty bank when you go there which I think is freaking personally awesome uh, I love that feature and the trade brokers right there inside and there you can buy and sell stuff you can also put in buy orders so if you're missing a material if you're a crafter let's say and you don't have the lures to get a certain material you can put up a buy order and say I want you know, 10,000 of this material and you can put up the price and it will people players will fill it and there is the equerry which is where you'll stable your pets um, you can also buy pet receipts you can stable your pet buy a pet receipt and carry your pet receipt all over the place you can um, sell it to other players and stuff um, but the thing is that is also exclusive so if you buy a, take out a pet receipt and take it to another town and sell it to a player, that player would have to come back here and turn in the receipt. Um, here are the crafting benches, and here is where you will learn to craft armor. The crafting tutor is here. So that will unlock armor, crafting, weapon crafting, shield crafting, bow crafting. Do not jump on that hearth like so many have done. You will get stuck. And if you get stuck, there is something called the stuck command which takes 10 seconds and it'll lift you a few feet in the air and try and get you unstuck and that stuck command does not work with that um i've got stuck on that when i was a new player i got stuck on that damn hard see that's the stuck command it lifts you in the air drops you hopefully no. but if it doesn't work what you can do is you can suicide which is not a bad idea like let's say you get i, I didn't know about this i was stuck on the hearth for like an hour um and then somebody told me just keep on going to the edge going to the edge and then do the stuck command and it finally worked try the stuck command like 10 times but what you can do is suicide and it's not a bad idea to do it in, um, in a, a town because no one's gonna loot your corpse because they don't want to turn gray they'd be immediately killed by guards so you suicide and once you suicide if you're still stuck uh, this button will turn into a teleport to nearest priest button so you can just hit that both of them take 60 seconds so don't think it's not working uh, you hit the suicide button takes 60 seconds and then teleport to nearest priest takes another 60 seconds uh, br uh, there's other brokers that are tied to the broker house over there don't worry about that if you t just want to narrow down your search you can talk to the weapon brokers over here and the armor brokers um, here's where you'd buy your first set of armor probably um, the full set of these armors I can't remember which one's more expensive and which one weighs more and stuff I think Tindramic scale I think that one's a little more expensive and a little more heavy and a little better and I think it's like a gold point two for the whole set so it's really cheap um, uh, once you start getting your first mount you need about 25 creature control points and every, everybody has that everybody can ride a level 25 mount um, starting out uh, but you, what you want to be wary of is your armor weight and that is right here your armor weight if it's five of five then you can't ride a mount, it'll throw you off. It needs to be four, five, or less. And of course, your armor weight will change. If you read an armor weight, uh, armor training book, that'll actually increase your max armor. It goes all the way up to like 30 something for heavy armor trainers. Uh, just be wary of this place right here. It's the sewers. There's a ladder 
on these sewers and you want to uh, back up to the ladder and go down there's scoundrels down there which will be your next step up from where I'm gonna where you're first gonna start fighting I mean, while I'm here see that's a I got him into third gear there's three gears on this horse the donkeys only have two gears um, walk and trot and this has walk trot and gallop so um, I'm in second gear right now and the reason why he threw me off is I was in third gear uh, there's the grapes. So oh, render distance. Render, render. Um, the grapes are all over there. You pick the grapes, and they're the best source of food for a starter player. You could also pick those trees, but I personally prefer the grapes. Um, and then that place where I got the 3,000 flowers in 45 minutes is right up this road. You just follow this road. There's a whole patch of like three or four dozen of them, and it's a pretty cool place. I've never been ganked. Um, nobody really messed with me, but if somebody realizes it, you might not have a bunch of flowers on you. You might get killed. Okay, see that corpse right there is gray. That means that you can loot that without consequence, but if there's a gray loot uh, corpse on the ground, you can best bet that it's been looted already. Alright, now sometimes you'll see guards... Ugh, damn it, one in a third gear again. Um... Sometimes you'll see guards chasing people. If they're chasing people, shooting people, freaking follow them. Because they're about to kill a gray, which means that you can loot, loot the corpse. I've gotten, as a new player, i got a lot of good starter stuff. Well, a lot of good stuff for a starter player. Just following guards around and looting people that they killed. Um, up there is the Tentramix slums. I'm not going to go up there because I want to make this video as short as possible, so I'm going to stop here and talk about it. Uh, the Tentramix slums, the the bank is separate um, from the bank over here. I think the broker house is linked, though. And when you go up there, uh, you're going to go through uh, an arch, and then it'll curve around to the right, and that'll be the Tendrum, uh, Tendrum slums. And um, you want to go through there and explore the slums. Uh, because there's a mage tower up there. I'm not going to go there, like I said, because I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Um, but when you start going, there's going to be a cut to the left. Don't go to the cut in the left, because it leads to a pretty high level. And if you're even here for days and you level up your skills, you're still going to get crushed, because normally it takes, like, you have to have a healer with you, or, like, max armor training, and high level armor, and... You have to really kill them quick, so don't go there. Just keep going through the slums, and you'll see the Mage Tower. The Mage Tower is important because there's the uh, librarian called the Armacist, or Amacist, I can't remember what it's called. But uh, that is the librarian for your next level of skills, your next set that you're going to start going for. Um, when you start really specializing, for instance, um, the Armacist sells the Advanced Creature Control, which is a 65 gold book. Not all of them are like that. When you start advancing, some of them be a gold, um, 2.5, 5, 10 gold, stuff like that. Um, and there's also a zoologist, uh, which is important for crafters, um, can't, uh, tamers, uh, other other various, but yeah. Uh, zoologist, which will give you lores on all these. These are all primary skills that will level. Uh, take away from your attribute points, and then the rest of them are um, secondary. That's not always the case. Some of there are some primaries within the parent skills. Normally, these are called um, you know mammalia is the parent skill. These are child skills. But anyway. Now, this is the first place you'll go to. You want to bring campfires here because you will get hit, you will lose your health, and then you want to sleep at campfires. Bring some uh, bandages. I don't have any bandages, but this is the bandage icon. You want to start leveling your vitalism. It's important for almost all classes except for people that can heal themselves. And still, there are still some mages that carry vitalism with them. Um, um, yeah, bring grapes, bring a campfire. So you can keep your hunger down and you can sleep at the campfire um, very quickly so you can get into combat. There's not a lot of people here, so I want to do this. I want to show you parrying. Parrying is your block, but it's not just a block. You have a three second window to parry. Okay, you saw the sparks? Okay. 
want to learn the rhythm. There it is. And then normally you can get two swings in and then a parry normally. But... And that's the three second window. And you can actually do a, um, a, um, just worried about losing my horse in here. Someone blue blocks me. There's something called blue blocking where someone will actually stand in front of you while you're swinging. And if you hit them, you turn gray and they can kill you without consequence. So it's just something to be aware of. Um, let me get two swings in and then boom. And there's something called a uh, counter swing. You can swing while holding the block if you parry. See, I can't do it. See, that was a count. That was actually a counter swing right there. But it'll miss if you don't parry. It's just a quick way of getting a swing out. I normally don't do counter swings because I like to do the full regular hit to keep my rhythm. But anyway. So you kill them, gather their heads, take them to that guy I showed you to get your first weapon upgrade or pick some flowers and get to the uh, auction house and buy yourself a nice weapon. Um, I think that you don't have to worry about mounts right now um, as a new player. Uh, if you if you get the combat system down and you read enough books, let's say you read, you get your dagger skill up to 50, 60, and your armor skill up to 10 or 13, you get a decent dagger, uh, you get a decent weapon, and you want to and you get some decent armor you want to explore the world, that's perfectly fine. Um, and then you would want to mount in that case, but I'm not going to go too in-depth into stuff like that. Uh, that'll be my next video. Uh, I do thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comments, questions, concerns, please share them. I will answer, and I do hope to see you in-game. Thanks for joining me.